Hey, welcome to Red Dirt Roots Outdoors TV. Now, if you're wondering if I'm under a bridge, yeah, I'm under a bridge. But we'll have more about that on an upcoming show. On today's show, Wes Hill is going with Brian Baker of Spoonbill Records. Now, if you follow Brian on Facebook, you know that guy has a good time in the outdoors all the time. And anytime you go with him, you can't help but have a good time. All my fishing around Those red dirt roots take me where I wanna go To my camo dirt blind of that old fishing hole Nature creepin's on the thing I know But I can't get there Without these red dirt roots Well, sundown means my day is almost over Let's load up the dog Red Dirt Roots is brought to you by h and Shooting Sports, Lucky Lure Tackle, Crispin Grass-Fed Beat, Cook, Feed, and Outdoor, Caney River Calls, Red Dirt Boys Landscaping, Red Dirt Roots, where it's all about the adventure. My name is Steve Cook. I'm the manager at Cook, Feed, and Outdoor. We have a feed store in Northeast Oklahoma City and another one in Yukon. We've begun to have a new delivery system. We have a route truck that runs on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the surrounding areas. So what we'll do is customers will either call into the store or they'll come into the store personally or we have a new number that you can actually text. So when customers send an order, what we'll do is we'll start to pack that order on the inside with any wormer or supplements or anything like that that they might need. Take it out to the warehouse and get that order completely packed up and shrink wrapped up together. From there, we'll take that order and load it onto the truck. On the truck, we have a new machine that attaches to the back of it. So when we take the order to the customer's farm, we can actually take that machine off and set the pallets or feed or hay or shavings wherever the customer needs us to put them. The delivery route truck runs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and it's $20 for a delivery to your place within 20 miles from the store. If you have any questions, we're usually on Facebook Messenger. You can send us a message there or call us at either location in Oklahoma City or Yukon. There's the most popular bait around, the Whopper Plopper. We've got the Whopper Ploppers in the, in the 90 series and the 130. We've got a lot of colors. This has been very, very popular. It's won a lot of money on the bass tournament trails here the last couple, three years. The, the little 90 here is a very popular, very good bait for throwing when it's not a lot of wind. And then you got the bigger, the, the 130 has been very popular for catching big fish. They will hit these things hard. Now we've just come out with another one. They now have the 110. A lot of guys think that 130 is too big, so then now we have the 110 size. It's just a little bit smaller. These things, you better hold on. You better be ready, because when the fish hit these things, they hit them hard. Now Brian is one of the hardest working guides you'll ever find. He not only guides for spoonbills in the late winter and spring, in the fall and winter he operates Crane Rick, one of the best known Sandhill crane hunting operations in the nation. But if you follow him on Facebook, you never know what he'll be doing. Brian truly lives the outdoor lifestyle. Whether he's hunting waterfowl in Argentina or deep sea fishing in the Gulf, Brian's always having a good time. Spoonbill snagging, guys, man. It's something I was introduced to probably three, four, four or five years ago by Kenneth Whitehead, the one and the only Kenneth Whitehead. So he took me out on a, a river one day, and Perry Faulkner was there filming, and it was my first experience with it. You know, it was one of those things that I had heard of spoonbill snagging. I knew what spoonbill was, but I told Kenneth one time I wanted a, a good fight uh, on a fish, and he said, okay, why don't you meet me 
and uh, let's go snag some spoonies. Just switch legs. All right, we get some good good video from a different direction now. <laughs> you are. Let's get him. You ready? Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I should say he's gonna take another run. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's he's Kind of step just up. lift up. Lift up there. <laughs> really? They're light too. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Especially the little ones, huh? <laughs> oh, that is awesome. First spoonie. Brian Baker is one of those guys that I had heard of uh, through um, uh, Spoonbill for Spoonbill Snagging. I'd heard of him a few times, and I was greatly looking forward to actually getting to go out and do it with him. I had some buddies who had never done it before. They wanted to get out of the house. They called me and said, hey man, do you know a place we can go uh, striper fishing or something? I said, I got an idea. What about spoonbill snagging? Let's, let's go snag some bills. My son had never done it before, so we decided we'd contact Brian and get something set up. And uh, once we set the date up, we were really excited and ready to go on our next adventure. One of the problems with spoonbill snagging here in the state of Oklahoma is it's that time of season where you have no freaking clue what the weather's going to be like. It just so happened that the night before we were supposed to go, a nice front came in towards the negative, and I believe it was around 10 to 12 degrees when we first set out to meet Brian that morning. So the bigger ones out here and the smaller ones are up closer? Or? Yeah, it don't matter. No, that, yeah. Uh, I just. Yeah, that was a big one. Yeah, okay, guys, I'll, I'll explain something to you. There's going to be a lot of fish. There was a big spoonbill right there. Yep. That was a big spoonbill. Yeah. Okay, guys, uh, now, just uh, just so you know, about halfway between here and that bank, there's three or four big log piles under the water, and they're about 10 foot deep. We're going to catch fish here, just like you saw that one. But when you cast out this way, you don't want to go real close to the bank. There's a lot of fish stacked there, like we were seeing, mm -hmm. but uh, you'll get hung up. So, But anyway, that's guys who we ain't worried about getting hung up. Keep it high. Field. We're worried about catching well, Brian started the new guys off by letting them know how we were going to do this, what was the proper technique, um, uh, some of the laws and regulations when it came to spoonbill uh, snagging. Anyway, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab one rod. I'm going to demonstrate. You're going to be close to the top of this. Jump up. See the size of those things? <laughs> well, you can tell by the splash. So what we're going to do, can you all fish with these rods here? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. What we're going to do is going to just pitch it out this way, where that fish is. We're going to let right. it set. You'll feel it go to the bottom. There, it's on the bottom. You want to rip your slack like that. Reel down to it like that. Now you're close to the boat, so just pull it up like this. Don't jerk when you're real close to the boat. It'll come flying out of the boat. So we're using, uh, we're using. This is about a three and a half ounce sinker, bullet shape, goes to the water real easy. No barbs on our hooks. So once you hit a fish, hold pressure on him. He's going to take off. The next order of business is check your drag. Okay, that's what we want here, and we're going to hear that. Uh, and we're going. There you go. All right. Now you're going to be snagging off this way. Now, you, like I say, you won't want to throw real close to that bank. And when you get close to the boat, just reel in. There's another fish right there. I'm going to get you set up. Now, you're going to cast out this way. All right. And you're actually going to cast upriver a little bit because you got a little bit of current right this side. Yep. You're going to got it, buddy. About like this right here. Okay. And you, a well, are going to jerk out a little bit. Yeah, a little further than that, but that's all right. Give it a second. You may catch one right by the boat. Yeah, you may. You, you do want to let it hit the bottom because... With the current, these fish are going to be tucked Rip. in low. Now remember, go slow now. Towards the bottom. There you go. I believe you got it, correct? Yep. yep. All right. Good luck. All right, sir. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> kind of like the same feel I give the other boys. Uh, it's definitely by getting the feeling. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You'll snag one doing nothing, man. <laughs> if you feel comfortable standing up here, yeah, I'm good. That's a good one, Steve. That's a good one. That's better. It'll thump. 
it, it'll stop pretty hard, especially this uh, in this time of year. The fish haven't spawned yet here. They haven't? No, they haven't. Really? No, that's what I was searching for. Once a once a spoonbill spawns, he gets lethargic. He's not. He doesn't put up the fight like he did whenever he was in great shape. So, um, you know, uh, I caught seven. I, I fished for an hour last uh, three days ago. And I caught seven fish, and, and none of them spawned out. So, really? Uh, now they look fairly close, but uh, you know. And you know, with Brian and Spoonbill Wreckers, it didn't take long at all before the spoonies started to catch. All right, I, 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 I think you're not catch, gonna catch this, and I'm gonna release the trolling motor, and we're gonna have to follow him. That's a big fish. All right, guys, if you would reel in, stay on and, it. Uh, stay on it, Logan. Don't, don't. Just hang in there. Yeah, just watch the show. Take a short break if you want. We're, now we're going towards it, so we're, we're better off, Logan. Yeah. Just try to keep the slack real Oh, big. there it is. I see it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I see him coming up. Really? Real. No, don't don't lose any laxity. There you go. Real, real, real. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Good fish, oh. Logan, I'm so proud of you. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You can you kind of keep them off to the side. Yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. Good job, Logan. That's awesome. You tired, son? <laughs> Don't go swimming with him, Ryan. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. I'll That's take awesome. the rod. Get you some pictures, man. That is wonderful. Nice. Now you're going to have to lift it up. Yeah. All right. I do is I hold them by the bill, and right in here, just don't go real deep in the gill where you're on the flat. He's got, he's got a lot of vinegar left in him. <laughs> so, yeah, I hold him like that right there. And it's about a Suckers. Heavy. Long as I am Turn tall. Of course, that ain't yeah, saying a whole lot, but it's Turn, still. turn up. Lift up. Turn over here. Lift up as tall as you can. <laughs> just lift it up to the camera. So we can see his tail. <laughs> yeah, just take a picture. You just I take mean. it. That's bigger than you think, that's boys. That's, 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 that's a for, lot bigger. For Hudson Fish, I forget what the let record is, but the record ain't much more than that. Yeah, you want really? This? Yeah. You no, want lift this? it up, Logan. I'll help you lift it up here. Let's both do it. Ready? Right, here. Good job. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Do you know where your beef comes from? Well, with Crispin Grass-Fed Beef, you know exactly where it comes from. The Crispin family has been raising beef in the Thomas area since 1897. Crispin Grass-Fed Beef is grass-fed and grass-finished, making it leaner, healthier, and even lower in calories than grain-fed beef. The Crispin family is at the OKC Public Farmer's Market every Saturday, 9 till 2. Check out their website or Facebook for more information. Crispin Grass-Fed Beef, healthy, tender, and great tasting. Know where your beef comes from. <laughs> you done hooked it, you just gotta, oh look at it. That's a big one too. Come on Damien, you fished before. Act like you know what you're doing. Easy fight or hard fight Damien. <laughs> hey, and we can keep them, I, don't, I didn't bring a cooler but we can, we can buy one or something. I'm in a loner as well. Them, I'll have you in plays and nice heavy duty bags. Okay. And, and they ain't going bad at all. You should have kept that one, Logan, because I'd like to try one. Oh, that's a big one. That was a big one. That's going to be hard to beat. I'm telling you, that was a big fish Logan caught. Yeah. You know. This 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 reservoir here is not known for big fish. This is the smallest fish reservoir as far as, you know, as average. Anyway. Now, these are tiny. You bet. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, you, you got him wrapped. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you nosed him. You nose jobbed him. Watch it, I'm right behind you, bro. Which way you coming at? You're good, you're good. I'm following you. Just a little bitty bag. The babies are the fighters, bro. <laughs> Why's it be bad? The adults are like, they're going to throw me back. <laughs> throw me back. Get under them. Grab the nose. You turn and face me and I got your photo. Steve's over here too. He'll kick, but just be just like a catfish. Oh, yeah. No bones or no fins. Turn sideways. Three, two. Yeah, at least smile. Turn this way so we can see him. The fish is smiling. You're not. It's heavy. <laughs> what All do you right, think, Damien? Keeping Damon? it. <laughs> Or isn't there a catch and release days also? Yeah, Monday and Friday. There are cowfish. Those are yours. Yeah. Kinda. That's not the only cow wing. Okay. No way. I can just ten foot down deep. If it's trying to fight. I hit something on the floor. You might catch that troll motor right there. That'll give you a good fight. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him, Steve. I'm pulling for Team Steve. He's, he's a one-man wrecking crew. Team Steve needs a cheap Where's Kathy at? Do you need Yeah, I'm my old time buddies. I just cast net. You said to eat cast net, try to catch shad. And 
So, so Damien, when the top water popper wasn't working, what you do? <laughs> Switched over to a worm and a bobber. <laughs> that sealed the deal. And then you caught him. Came in hot and heavy. Chug bug kind of <laughs> gave up after 20 minutes. The bobber and the worm worked. This is shallow on this side, you don't have to sink as long. I feel like that. Wait until it hits the bottom of the cup. Bump right there. I reel down to it. Pull up like that. Reel down to it. See how he's standing more straight up, Logan? Yeah, you yeah. don't want to, from here, you don't want to throw it back without reeling it because then you'll throw a loop in your line. You want to reel down to it. Like that. Now I'm getting closer at the boat. Got one more pull like that. Then I'll reel in. Try it again. And the fish are laying in the water like this. So if you, if you can throw a little bit of an angle in it, you know, your odds will go up. So you'll want to kind of pull it to the bank this way. I'm going to show you one more time. I'm going to throw a little bit closer towards the bank, like that. Right. I'll keep tensing on until I feel, oh, that's the bottom. Must be a little shallow in the water. Pull it like that. Go down. Don't do like I did, not hook the fish. You won't have to hook the fish. Spin the hook the other way. Yeah. Well, because the way we were doing it, you're squatted down and you're bending over the entire time, and your back just starts to burn. Try to cast right at that slew. There you go. Perfect. Yep. It probably won't take very long because it's shallow right there. Yep, I'd say you're on the bottom. A lot of laxity in that line, yep. son. I start real. There you go. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, and you can see the tip bend a lot more when you do it that right. way. Right, because you're pulling the, the hook through the water, not just taking up your slack with the jerk. Like Damien. Hey, Damien's trying, all right? That's all right. I'm hiding behind the camera and saying I'm a good fisher. <laughs> Here, well, there's looks like a shed everywhere underneath this. That's so cool. It's as big as they are. Under. Why don't you bring them reels? I like that. The depth finder, it's nice. Bass right there looks like no big fish. Wait, wait, we want to add weight? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but that'll make it harder to pull in. Yeah. Man, <laughs> can we get some lightweight weights? <laughs> Very good color. Beautiful fish. How the heck did the hook hit like that and spin? We well, need more good problems. Yeah, that he has a lot of color. Look at the spots. Yeah. Nice job. Keep it Him in. Logan, use my phone. Take pictures of Steve for me if you would. Double click the middle. Do you remember how to pick it up? I keep recording. Nope. <laughs> Through the slide gear. Your, slide your hand underneath the belly there you underneath. underneath. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look, at, look at Logan and them. Oh. 
Boom! Spoony number trace. Alright, that's a good one. Alright. I took somewhere around 10. Back? No, no, no. Fine. Keep it. You want to keep him? Keep, keep it. I'll... Tell me about your experience. He's this big. <laughs> he really was. <laughs> well, See, there he is. <laughs> he really was that big. We taped his mouth shut with some duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking too much. So we shut him up. Oh, back, back pain. I need a chiropractor. You wishing you wouldn't release that one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, if you all to kept yours, I'd be the only one fishing right now. Oh, I know. There's... Oh, 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 here's how you do it. There's, look, selfie. Oh, selfie, hey. <laughs> selfie, hey there. Hello, selfie. Holding a couple of hours of camera up going in. It made me, I don't know, I just hit something. It may not it's be. On, it's on. It's a stick. Sorry about that. It is a stick. Yeah, yeah I just hit something. It's a big stick, though. Keep recording. Hold on. It's the biggest stick you've ever seen. It went under the water. Head up, try to get him around the motor. He's gonna run. 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 He's gon